for this session. Uh, I want to share the screen also. Well, uh, this was uh, the drill number one. Uh, you you were given 10 minutes to complete it. Uh, maybe you have uh, created your histogram, your scatter plot, and you have also created your uh, frequency distribution. Uh, the next thing that uh, we will do in uh, second uh, part of uh, session two uh, is basically related to just give me a second it is related with the uh, uh, bar charts line charts and pie charts so we will discuss in this session uh, how we can create the bar charts what are the different uh, types of uh, bar charts and uh, what options do we have available in order to create it uh, what type of data requires uh, bar charts why we prepare in and what does it tell uh, so in case if we need to interpret uh, these charts in our in our data analysis how can we interpret it uh, in segment five uh, we we will create the line charts with its different types so which type of data requires the line charts uh, why we prepare it what does it tell in segment number six we will create the pie charts with its different types like uh, which type of data requires the pie charts why we prepare and, and what does it tell? And uh, I will let you know uh, uh, the three of these charts uh, using the SPSS 27 also. So let's start from uh, the bar charts. Uh, so what is bar chart? A bar chart is a graphical representation of data in which rectangular bars of varying length or heights are used to represent different categories or groups. Uh, the length or height of each bar is proportional to the quantity it represents. Basically, uh, if the quantity uh, of the given data is very high, its bar uh, will be uh, the longer in, in terms of length. If the data included in that particular category is low, the bar will be low. So bar charts are commonly used to display and compare the values of different categories, making it easy to visualize pattern, trends, and variation in the data. So there are three types of uh, bar charts. Simple bar charts, which represent the frequency or distribution of a single categorical variable. So if we have a single categorical variable and we would like to display uh, the, uh, the, the bar charts, we need to use the simple bar charts. Uh, if we have a lot of uh, uh, a number of uh, different categories of uh, categorical variable or we have more than one categorical variable and we would like to compare uh, different categorical variables we can use stake bar charts and there is another category which is known as cluster bar charts it compares the distribution of two or more categorical variable side by side all right uh Next is the type of data that requires the bar charts. There are three types of data, uh, categorical data, nominal data, and ordinal data. It's mean uh, you can, uh, you should not use uh, the bar chart for uh, continuous data. You can use it for categorical data. You can use it for nominal data. You can use it for ordinal data. Uh, categorical data uh, bar charts are more suitable for visualizing the distribution of categorical variable. If we have uh, a variable with a number of categories, like in the uh, uh, form of age group, we have more than uh, two categories. So we can use it as a categorical variable bar chart. Uh, in case of nominal data, like we have the gender, where we have uh, uh, one for male and zero for female, we can also use the bar charts. The third category is ordinal data. If our data is in ordinal form, it, it shows some order, like in terms of qualification, uh, the higher, most higher qualified person will be ranked on higher uh, ordinal number, while the lower qualified person will be ranked on the lower uh, order. So bar charts can be used uh, to represent the distribution of ordinal data also. Next one is uh, why we prepare the bar charts. Uh, let me uh, off the mics of other participants because uh, I am hearing some voices. All right. 
segment number four bar charts with different types. Why we prepare bar charts? Uh, the first purpose for preparing the bar chart is to visualize the categorical data. If we have some categorical data, we want to visualize it. We need to create the bar charts. Uh, comparing categories. If we want to compare different categories, like uh, we want to compare uh, the different age groups, uh, whether we, our data has different age groups, we can use the bar charts. Uh, illustrating part to whole relationship. If we have uh, 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 some uh, uh, ordinal or categorical data and we, we would like to know that uh, what percentage uh, of a specific category uh, is representing as a whole. Stake bar charts help illustrate the contribution of each category to the overall total. So if we would like to know uh, how much percentage 